everyone, this is Adam Waraxa at on the Geomagic team for Octon. And I'm here at Online Resources. Uh, we've been running through a bunch of things with a bunch of different scan technologies. And we had this little project come up here where we're doing some, some ports on an engine. And uh, a couple little things. Uh, a lot of times when we're doing mesh modeling and editing here in Design X, uh, one of the things that we need to do is, like right now I trimmed this back, so I, I pulled this out so we don't see the whole head, obviously, because it's proprietary, so I can't show you the whole thing. But anyway, um, a lot of things we need to do is like extend these out, because if I surface this, okay, and I have my original CAD block of the head, I need to get these like above my surface so I can actually trim the thing out. Now, a lot of times people would fill this all in and they would surface it and then try to extend like all of those nerve patches and things like that. And if you've ever done that, you know, sometimes you can run into some issues with doing that. It's not always very clean. Um, you know, sometimes the tangency is a little, a little fun to play with and uh, you might have to end up doing like a manual surface fill and trim together. It can get kind of awkward. But one of the things I always like tell people is, you know, if you don't have to do it with, uh, you know, in CAD, essentially with a parametric body, um, or a CAD surface, okay, there's this stuff in edit boundaries here in polygons. So, you know, and one of the things that I love to do is like, I need to get this up above the surface again. So when I surface it out, I can use it as a trim and I get a clean punch through my solid. So the extend in here is a lifesaver. So if I come in to the end of this port here, okay, again, we want to do a clean boundary trim, which uh, was a, you know, another tech tip video that I'll do on how to do clean boundary trims with curves. So, but if I use the extend here, um, I will put on the refine and smooth a little bit because you know, there's always a little bit of jaggedness on the edges here, so I'll put that on. Um, there's always auto for distance, um, but you know, if I just want to come up a little bit, I can hit OK and it'll kind of give me a, a fill in number here. That's saying like 42 thou, okay? And that might not be as much as I want, but maybe I want to make it like 0.1 to get above my surface of what's there. Um, you know, without the smooth on there, stuff might get a little jagged looking, but you can see like right now we just added like a nice clean extension onto the end of that mesh. So if I come in and like do that side and then, you know, come over here and do the same thing over here on this side, you know, we'll do another extension out the other end. And now I can come in, um, maybe do a little smooth on the overall mesh if I wanted to, but when I surface it out, my surfaces are now gonna be extended out the outside of my solid body. It's gonna give me a nice clean uh, through surface to cut my port out with. So again, a little quick tech tip uh, here from Adam and Geomagic at Online Resources. And um, if you wanna check them out, we have a ton more videos. They have a ton more videos. Uh, hit up onlineresourcesinc.com and octon.com to check out all the Geomagic products.